The REACH is intended to be an arts gathering space to discover the creation of new work, to experience it firsthand, and do it on a one-to-one -one basis between audience and artist. One of the great things about the Kennedy Center is its awe-inspiring size and grandeur. But imagine being five or six or even 10 and coming into the space and feeling perhaps just a little intimidated. The Reach is a place where we will have many, many more spaces that are perhaps just a little bit more human scale. The Kennedy Center has nine formal performance spaces. The Reach has nine informal performance spaces. The biggest space is called Studio A. We imagine that it could be a great cabaret, but it also might be a rehearsal room. It might be a place where our young conductors could work with an orchestra and learn their technique. It might be a place where we have opera in the round. And then we have studios, B and C. And what's really great about these two spaces is they have a sprung floor and Marley, which make them great for dance. Also on that same level, we have two classrooms for any age, student, and classroom experience and have wonderful access to the other studios. We have windows looking into practice rooms so that when you walk through this area, you, you can get a glimpse of different rehearsals that are actually going on. From behind the stage, we start to understand what performing arts are. It's a living thing that goes on every day. The Forum is one of the most interesting spaces. We'll be able to have master classes, we might have film screenings, we might have a pre-performance lecture. Upstairs, we have an absolutely exquisite, beautiful space called the Skylight Pavilion. It will seat about 350 people for an event. It's got soaring ceiling, gorgeous lighting, really a magnificent space. On the same level as the Skylight Pavilion is the main entry to the Reach. This is where we have Welcome Center, information about activities. The River Pavilion will probably be one of the most unique spaces. It combines a cafe, an informal performance space, an indoor-outdoor experience. There are benches by the pools, a lot of places to sit. There'll be a simulcast position where you can watch events that are going on that you don't have to pay anything because they're being projected onto the edge of one of these white pavilions. Because we made the three pavilions that come up from an integration of the landscape, we've activated that whole as a public park. What I really love about Stephen Hull's design is that, as he states, his most important architectural feature is light. This fact that you can come in from all sides, the fact that it's porous, the fact that it's integrated into the landscape, asking you to come in, sit down, the connection to the river edge, the activation of the landscape as a, a total experience, it reaches out into the community. This will be a revolution in terms of what the arts experience is really about. It gives us an opportunity also to expand on the memorial to John F. Kennedy and what he stood for, the hope and optimism and the fundamental belief in the goodness of people and how people, when they come together, can really make the world a better place.